this particular building, but uh, the governor was not just uh, involved in uh, democratic festivities over here at the Ramada. She was actually working yesterday. And if you missed it, she announced uh, and challenged the legislature to do everything possible to take, uh, to take the full uh, advantage of the Recovery Act that President Obama signed on February 16th. And uh, the governor laid out in a, in a news conference yesterday everything that we need to do to make sure that Kansas gets the full uh, benefit of the Recovery Act and the funds that Washington has available for us. One of those things is very, very important to, to, to labor and to working families in Kansas. The governor wants us to make some changes to our unemployment law that will allow us to access $68 million from the federal government to be brought into our UI trust fund for benefits for unemployed people. Um, it's simple. I mean, we've done a lot of good things already in our unemployment law. We've done a lot of the things that the federal government wants us to do, like making sure that people who are only working part-time and lose your job from their part-time job are able to get unemployment benefits. We already do that in Kansas. People have to leave a job because they are victims of, of domestic violence situations. We already have that in our law, so we meet that requirement. Uh, people who have to leave a job to follow a spouse to a new job somewhere else, we allow them to draw unemployment benefits. That's already in our law here, so we meet that requirement. There's one thing we need to do, though, and that's to what, what is known as an alternative wage period for determining eligibility for unemployment. Right now, we look back five quarters to see whether somebody's eligible for unemployment. And uh, oftentimes, we deny <coughs> people unemployment because they don't have enough earnings because they haven't been attached to the labor market long enough. Uh, the, day, the old unemployment laws were written back in 1937 when people usually you worked for a company and you were there for the rest of your life. Things have changed. People turn over in jobs now a lot. And we need to modernize the unemployment laws so that we cover people who may have only been with a job for a year, and but they've lost that job, they need to have unemployment benefits as well. That's the change we need to have, and then we'd be able to get that extra money. And I'm very proud of the governor to, to challenge us to go out and, and let's do that, make that change, and get that, uh, get that law done so we can really get that money coming into Kansas. The other thing I wanted to talk about was there was a time, there was a time when Danny Manning, played basketball at KU, not coached it, but played basketball. Uh, there was a time when there was a guy named Ronald Reagan was president, but that's, we don't want to really dwell on that too long. And also, I was a student at KU, so that was a long time ago. That was also the last time that we upped the limits on workers' compensation benefits in this state. They have been capped since 1987, and it is, it is a... We are really hurting people who have been injured on the job and, and denying them the full benefit of, of uh, what, should be, what, what they should be entitled to. <clears throat> There's a bill. It's going to have a hearing on Tuesday in the, in the State Senate. It's uh, Senate Bill 258. It would um, bring... I got some flyers here. We'll All right, well, um, okay, go right ahead. Get, get the information out. And it would, it would uh, raise that, uh, the, 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 those 1987 caps, let's adjust them to inflation to this current level and, uh, and, and get that set and, and make it mean something and worth something as it should be. Just to kind of put it in perspective, there are people who get permanent, permanent, permanent total disability. That means they are not able to ever work again. They got injured on the job. They're not going to ever be able to work again. There are people in that situation today, because of the caps, they're only going to get four and a half years of benefits. So they go, they can get four and a half years of work comp benefits, then they're done. But they are permanently disabled and not ever able to go back to work. The only option they have is to go on to uh, Social Security Disability or to the welfare system, which is a real injustice to people who showed up and worked uh, at the job and got injured and now are in that situation. So that's an important bill. And uh, I hope the Senate will take uh, some action on that uh, this, this year. The third thing, and Pat already mentioned it, and Senator Francisco was uh, very instrumental in that, and that was the raising the, uh, the state minimum wage that has passed the, uh, the, the um, state Senate. It's now over in the state house. We need to put pressure on the house to get it out of there. That's even longer than 1987. That's been around, uh, you know, hasn't been changed. We are the lowest minimum wage in the country. It is embarrassing. 
and it is time that we uh, do something about that. Those are three things. I think I went more than three minutes. I'm sorry. But uh, those are three important issues that are out there that are, are circulating that, this session. So uh, thank you all very much.